Iranian army received 200 strategic drones and started production of new training aircraft Yasin. The Iranian army received more than 200 drones, UAVs, produced by the Ministry of Defense on the 20th of April, Tasnim reported. The drones, which were delivered at an event attended by Major General Abdulrahim Musavi, will be deployed in various parts of the country. The delivered drones include various models such as Ababil 4, Ababil 5, Arash, Karar, Sharavar 10th, Akgar, Switchblade, Homa, as well as sea-based unmanned aerial vehicles capable of vertical landing and takeoff. The new UAVs, all of which have a low radar cross-section, are designed to fulfill a wide range of missions such as reconnaissance, kamikaze homicide, patrol, and anti-radar. These UAVs can be used against moving and stationary targets. According to Tasnim, the new drones have been equipped with air land, air air, and electronic warfare systems with modified propulsion, navigation, and control systems. In this context, it is claimed that the new features have turned some drones into stealth aircraft capable of long range special operations. III Production of Iran's New Training Aircraft Yassin has started the Iranian Ministry of Defense in Tehran on Saturday the 11th of March, inaugurated a production line for the mass production of the indigenous jet trainer, also known as the Kosar-88, or Yassin. The second prototype of the Yassin jet trainer was also unveiled at the ceremony, which was attended by Iranian Defense Minister Amir Mohammad Reza Ashtiani, commander of the Islamic Republic of Iran Air Force, IRIAF, Brigadier General Hamid Vahedi, and CEO of Iran Aviation Industries Organization, IAIO, Brigadier General Afshin Kajefard. Speaking at the ceremony, Iranian Defense Minister Amir Mohammad Reza Ashtiani said, according to the Iranian news agency IRENA, that the design process for the Yassin jet trainer began years ago, and its unique design allows it to be used for both fighter and close air support missions. The minister said that one of Iran's main concerns is the training of fighter pilots, and that this trainer, developed largely with indigenous resources, is capable of performing the tasks assigned to it by the Air Force. Brigadier General Hamid Vahedi, commander of the Islamic Republic of Iran Air Force, IRIAF, explained that Iranian fighter pilots had previously been trained abroad and said, The first sector affected by the sanctions against our country was this area, which created difficulties for us in terms of training. Vahedi also claimed that the use of the new jet trainer will make the training of Iranian fighter pilots more comprehensive and shorter. Yassin is a jet trainer designed by Iran Aviation Industries Organization, IAIO, and manufactured by Iran Aircraft Manufacturing Industries, KESA. The aircraft was first unveiled to the public in 2019 at Hamadan Shahid Noje Air Base in the presence of Iran's then Defense Minister Amir Hatami and then Vice President Sorena Satari. The first prototype of the aircraft underwent its first flight test in the same year. Since then, the Iranian Aerospace Industries Organization has unveiled the updated and improved second prototype of the Yassin, based on feedback from the aircraft's tests. According to Iran's Tasnim news agency, the new Yassin has more advanced electronics, avionics, ejection seats, engines, air-to-air -air radar and landing gear than the first prototype. Brigadier General Afshin Kajay Fard, CEO of the Iran Aviation Industries Organization, IAIO, told IRENA in an exclusive interview that the differences between the first and second prototypes of the Yassin jet trainer were not limited to its avionic systems, but that certain optimizations had been made in the aircraft's design. Kajafard also said that the second prototype, which was unveiled at the inauguration ceremony of the production line set up for the serial production of the aircraft, will be the production standard of Yassin. With Yassin in service, Iranian fighter pilots in the Islamic Republic of Iran Air Force, IRIAF, will be able to learn the basic tactics and techniques of air and air-to-ground combat before flying F-14 Tomcats, F-4E Phantom IIs, F-5E Tigers, and Russian MiG-29S. These aircraft, which will replace Northrop F-5B Freedom Fighters and Chengdu FT-7N Air Guards, will also end Iran's 30-year search for an advanced jet trainer.